Kitty Blue here. Um, I am doing my weekly video, week eight. I have my Delphi Dream icon with me today, and we are going to go through a local doll show. So, um, it's the Northeast Ohio Baron Doll Show, and it is in Strongsville, Ohio. I've already gone through and looked at everything and purchased some stuff. So at the end of the video, I'm going to do um, kind of like, you know, a doll show haul, showing you everything that I got. But this lovely girl got lots of compliments at the show. Um, but yeah, we're going to go back in and take a tour through some of the areas. And there is a doll artist in there that I want to do a short interview with. I thought that would be fun. Um, I'm not very good at those kind of things, but we're going to give it a shot. Um, yeah, it's February the 26th, by the way, week eight. And uh, yes, let's get started. <music> I'm here at uh, Strongsville Doll and Bear Show. 
We are here with Misfit Dolls. She is a yep. local artist and mentor, Ohio. That's what a lot of these I'll put her information up in the description. She does three printed dolls in resin in different sizes. I have one that's an MSD. My newest line is the more scale. Three inch dolls. Um, just I, am, I do kits and stuff for people to paint them, but there are faces that I do not offer in kit form because I know for me the eyes are so tiny. Okay, we're going to talk with the artist behind Misfit Dolls. And your name? My name's Maya. And how long have you been doing this? Um, I've been doing the sculpted BJDs for about four years. Okay. I started working in sculpting about four years ago, and the actual dolls have been being made about two years now. And um, I just heard a little bit about, you know, why you called it the Misfit Doll. So When I was a lot younger, I would take used dolls and think, Things that people have discarded and I would repair them and redo them and so there are misfits and so that's where I came up with the doll name itself a long time ago and now it added on to the BJD line kind of like the uh, kind of like the what, misfit island isn't that what yeah. it was the misfit island, island in the uh, yeah and uh, you make all the clothes and the wigs are, are they wigs? Or are they, um, they? Well, of course they have to be wigs, right? They're not wigs. They're actually glued onto the head. Right? Okay, okay, okay. So the thing with our doll, with the with my dolls, is you glue directly onto the head cap, but you can get different head caps and just switch them out. So you oh, cool. style out their hair. Yeah. Whatever you want, and then if you want different hairstyles, grab another head cap. Or if you get, on. or if you get a blank one, I'm sure you could probably like make yeah. an wig that's detachable but one thing with wigs is they can get so small so yeah. like my my one twelfth scale child she really wouldn't wig very easily right and right, then like yeah. the 124 scale dollhouse girls wouldn't wig very easily at all either she's so cute they're so tiny and um, you had said that you use recycled materials? Yep, recycled and vintage materials as much as possible. I try to make sure that um, things stay out of landfills. That is definitely, definitely a plus. I wish I could do that with my stuff. <laughs> Very nice. And um, what show are you going to be going to next? Um, Lansing Doll Show, the Michigan Lansing Show. Um, that will be next month in March and then in April it's Toledo and then in May the Cleveland Miniature Show will have me and I'll be focusing more on my I don't think I've ever even like went to the Cleveland um, Miniature Show before I'm gonna have to check that out I just heard about it and I'm like I think these would fit <laughs> oh, she's got little goggles and um, so you do you do just like kits you sell kits and full dolls I sell the kits um, I have eight different body types in my six inch and smaller I have the same body line in seven inch and larger and then I have two body types in three inches so the 124 scale there's only two options and I have 44 different standard head sculpts that you can get with kits and um, do you do you do like custom work then like you know I if you if somebody requests to like an outfit and the face up and all that yep. stuff I also do portraitures so um, you can get a portrait of somebody for your dollhouse and you get a custom head sculpt that is just that person. It'll never be used for anybody else. Oh, wow. And um, simple clothing. So like jeans and t-shirts mm -hmm. and skirts and more complicated stuff kind of goes up in price. But the, um, you can get, I have more body sculpts than what I offer in kit form, mm -hmm. but those are specific more toward the, um, the portraitures. And then what color resins do you um, actually do? I work in beige, so I have up there is Elegoo, beige, and any human beige, and I custom mix brown, and then I also print gray. Very, very cute. I think that's all I have. Um, thank you so much. These are just amazing. Um, I'll definitely like, you know, when I do this video, I'll put your information. So hopefully people out there will see your stuff because I know a lot of people like to buy dolls for their dolls. Yeah. <laughs> but um, you can find me at misfitdolls.com and you can find me on Instagram, misfitdolls, with a Y, M-Y-S-F-I-T-S. <laughs> Misfit Dolls. We are back in my doll room at home.
from the Strongsville um, Doll and Bear Show. Cypher is here with me with her new hat. So this is one item that I did get through there. So, um, sorry about the video. Uh, I had to put music in it because for some reason when, um, actually some of the videos I thought I was recording didn't record and, um, yeah, my audio was off for some reason. So I kind of had to, uh, redo a few parts. Um, so that is why there is music in it. And, uh, yeah, I tried, I was trying to do something different. This is week eight. But now this part of the video is going to be going over the um, items that I actually purchased. Um, I'm going to start with the bigger items, which um, are down by the side. And let me just pause because they're on the other side of the table. Okay, so I'm going to do some of the furniture that I purchased first. And I usually just look for some random things. Um, I mean, you can kind of get these kind of things in thrift stores. Um, but sometimes you can't find them. But I thought this was really cute. I thought maybe it might be, um, maybe I'll put it in a bathroom setting or something. Um, for my MSD dolls. Or something like that. But hey. That was cute. It's only a couple dollars. Why not, right? And then I got this cool bench, which I think will be better probably for my MSD dolls because it's a little low to the ground. Um, most of the times these are kind of used for different things, teddy bears and things like that and like other styles of dolls, but thought that was cool. Eventually when I get my dollhouse put together. I want to do a little kind of garden kind of thing. So that is where this items it's kind of heavy. So these are actually um, wrought iron. Look at that. How cool is that? I should totally grab one of my MSD dolls. But it came with two chairs. And a table, which is stuck in the box. <laughs> and a table. But I thought that would look really cool in like a little garden kind of scene. Um, let's see if there's one of my MSD dolls I can grab real quick. Yep, I think actually it would work really, it's going to work really well. So that is... The heavy item that I got. And then there's one more furniture piece. I wasn't sure if I was going to get this or not because it is pretty big. It is a doll bed, bunk bed, but you can kind of take it apart. Um, it's made out of wood. This isn't. It's got a ladder and everything to it, but that. That was that. And then we're going to dig into this bag that I have off to the side. Got, I mean, I can never pass up chairs. I mean, how can you pass up chairs? This is so cool. More, more fit probably for an MSD. It might be a little bit short for an MSD, but um, I thought it was really cool woodwork. Okay, more stuff. So there was a lot of places that just have bins and bins and bins of clothing and doll items and things like that and it's just so time consuming to try to dig through it so I don't spend too much time on it but I did um find some stuff like her hat it was only like two dollars for her hat and I think it like fits really well on her so hat wise I also got this hat it's just like a normal kind of straw hat I'm sure I could probably find this somewhere but I thought it was cute and then this is another straw hat. I'm going to probably take these flowers and stuff off and like make something else out of it. But that can fit like SD. Um, I think there is some other hats somewhere in here. Oh, free doll magazine. Something to look at. 
I'm not sure where the other halves are, so we're just gonna like go from piece to piece. Um, I thought this was really cute. It's very well lined. This was only like $2 as well. Uh, I'm thinking Slim MSD. And I thought that would be a cool like little three quarter length, um, maybe like little jacket. This is just like a white kind of simple dress. Um, I might actually be able to get this on a SD doll. It's just a plain white dress. I thought this was really cute. Uh, it's a little bit wide, but I thought it would be like really fun as just like kind of a loose kind of tunic kind of top. Again, $2. Why not? <laughs> and then there was this tiny little shirt. I thought this would, I think this would be cute um, on a slim MSD maybe. I'll have to try these on and like take some photos and stuff later. Um, got this neat hand mirror. So she can like look at herself, although since she's not a smart doll, she doesn't have any claspy hands. I think I might actually have grasping hands for her, but not with me. So it's a little tiny mirror. Some more things. Um, these were like dollar items, and I'm just like, well, why not? It's like a white sweater, like fits 